What's going on, Bruise? Sword and Shield and Scarlet and Violet. These eras, they're... I already hit my mic. I already hit my mic. Should I just start over? <laughs> What's going on, Bruise? Scarlet and Violet and Sword and Shield. These two eras, ultra modern Pokemon card eras. We're gonna tier list them. Let's put them all together and let's rank them from S tier to D tier. This is something Pokemon content creators do when they have nothing else to talk about. So in all honesty, Opossum Bud, Shiny Vert, Poke Beard. I've seen a lot of people do tier lists lately and a lot of them, you know, nah, nah, nah. but I, I found, okay, so Poke Beard, one month ago did a tier list and it was Sword and Shield sets and it was Scarlet and Violet sets. And to be honest, this video has like 30,000 views, and I'm glad that it does. And I like the tier, the tier, the tier list. I like the tier list a lot. And the reason I like the tier list a lot is because 2019 to now, when you look at Pokemon, it you just draw a line in the sand at 2019 because everything prior, like in 2019 and prior, cost a lot of money. It's not very readily available. Booster boxes and even sealed packs are like crazy high. But when you look at Sword and Shield, you look at Scarlet and Violet, yes, there is a huge booster box difference. Uh, sealed booster box prices for Sword and Shield are, of course, much, much more than Scarlet and Violet sealed booster boxes. But when it comes to like driving down the street and like going and buying a pack, just readily available, both these sets, I got some, I, both these sets are both on equal playing ground as far as right now. You can go acquire the worst case scenario. You pay ten dollars for an evolving skies pack, which, eh, eh, you know, but still, that's nothing compared to most X and Y, Sun and Moon, and obviously black and white packs. So again, I'm gonna shut up. I made this beautiful, beautiful tier list because Poke Beer didn't make his public. So I spent hours upon hours, uh, you know, blood, sweat, and tears. I made this beautiful tier list that I will link in the description below. And you can try out this tier list, make your own video, do whatever you want with it. I don't care. Uh, yeah, it'll be in the description below. All right, let's get to it. All right, guys, here it is. Here's my beautiful, exquisite tier list that I made. Real quick, before we begin, my last video, two things. One, I actually said, hey guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and not in the last two seconds of the video. I said it somewhere in the beginning. And dear lord, did I mess. It was like a, let's put it this way, it was over 100 subs on my last video. And then the other thing, yes, I did say go buy these Pokemon card prices on a couple cards. And yes, one of those cards the next day did explode, literally double in value. I'm going to make a whole video talking about TCG player market manipulation and pumpers in the future where I will address that Steelix thing. Okay, but this tier list, here we go, let's get started. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys, and I really do appreciate that. So here we go. I'm just gonna alternate. I, I, there's no. I'm just gonna reach down and grab stuff. We'll see. Okay. Um, maybe I'll close my eyes for the first couple. Here we go. Oh no, Paradox Rift. Okay, I shouldn't have grabbed this first. This is literally one of my favorite sets on the list. Um, <laughs> start off with Paradox. This is highly. This is a very controversial one to start, given where I'm gonna put this card. Oh man. Oh god, I want to put it in the S. Roaring Moon's up big. Or oh, in the last day. In the last day, Roaring Moon's up big. I'm just saying. Groudon, not Groudon. I read the comments. I know it's Groudon. Hey, guess what? Kyogre. Hey, guess what? Arceus. Alright, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna quit screwing around. This is me. This is my list. S tier, baby. Starting off strong. I love Paradox Rift. Get off me. Altaria's up. Everything in Paradox Rift is up. Iron Hands. Iron Hands got the go. Man, Iron Hands is killing it in the TCG. Alright, here we go. Let's go. Darkness Ablaze. Oh god, we freezing. We freezing. We good. Alright. Darkness Ablaze. Okay, so when it, real quick. When it comes to Sword and Shield, guys, I'm just gonna set you down right there for a sec. I might leave it there. So when it comes to Sword and Shield, there are four sets that have alt arts and trainer galleries. There are four sets that just have alt arts. 
and then there are five sets that don't have alt arts or trainer galleries. The five sets that don't have alt arts or trainer galleries are definitively the five worst sets, I would, I would say, of Sword and Shield. Darkness Blaze is so bad, it's it, it's literally, it blows, it's offensive how bad Darkness Blaze is. Go look at a set list. Go look at a set list. You're, it's almost as bad as Shining Fate's regular not shiny vault set list, but it's a main set. It, it's so bad. Darkness Blaze is a D. Here you go. D. 100% Darkness Blaze. You are trash. What was Pokemon thinking? Literally. A Charizard VMAX. That's it. Period. VMAX period. Not VMAX blank. Period. So bad. Okay, so Vivid Voltage. I just grabbed Vivid Voltage. Vivid Voltage is a good set from the standpoint of it's got a Chonkachu. I like the full art pink chew with the pink background. I know a lot of people don't. Um, but then it has a lot of very affordable uh, trainers. It has actually Vivid Voltage. No one says this. But Vivid Voltage has a very nice assortment of full art trainer cards. But honestly, that and the Pikachu and that's it. So... Uh, I'm gonna give it a uh, a D. I'm gonna give it a C for now. I might I might change that. All right, let's go Twilight Masquerade. So Twilight Masquerade. Oh, let's leave it down here for a sec. Greninja and Carmine. So first of all, Greninja, Carmine, and Eevee. Those are the three cards, if any, that Twilight Masquerade I think will be remembered for. I really do like the Chansey though in the Pokemon Center. So the Greninja is definitely what I want to talk about for a sec. So for the waifu furry boys, the Carmine is top tier. For the waifu boys, furry boys, Twilight Masquerade has you. You're good. But the Greninja. So when it comes to Scarlet and Violet overall, when we're looking back at the Scarlet and Violet era, when it comes to iconic cards, I think cards like Magikarp from Palais Evolve, maybe the Charizard from Palais and Fates, um, and then this Greninja SIR that just came out two weeks ago. I think this Greninja is going to hold better Charizard value than Charizards, maybe. I, I, It's just so unique, so cool, so popular of a Pokemon recently that I think looking back at this era, that Greninja will be so fondly looked at. So I think that's there's Twilight Masquerade as that going for it. But other than that, I'm going to put it at C. I don't think it's that great. I think the Greninja and the Carmine are great, and that's it. Uh, Rebel Clash, Rebel Trash, Boss's Orders, uh, yeah, dude, Rebel Clash just does not have enough, not even close, not even close to enough, um, alright, so Rebel Clash, yeah, D, definite D, let's go Battle Styles, okay, Battle Styles, we have T-Tar, Sleepy T-Tar, we have Empoleon, we have way too many Urshifu, uh, Alt Arts, and no trainer gallery. The Empoleon and the Tyrad Tar alt arts are good enough to keep it out of D, a C, C or D. It's either gonna be C or D. Ah, C. All right, we'll get, we'll keep it at C. Eh. All right, I'm gonna put it in B. I'm gonna put it in B for now. The Empoleon and the T Tar. Oh, uh, Astral Radiance. Okay, I really do like Garchomp V, Trainer Gallery card. We like the Starmie. Yeah, I'm, wait, Misty? Yeah, Star <laughs> I said Misty V. Uh, and Machamp. But Machamp, to be the headliner, uh, it's good. It's a cool Machamp card. It's Machamp's coolest card ever. Oh, shibba da da ha. Astral's A for now. Yeah, Astral's A. Yeah, Trainer Gallery, Alt Arts, the Champ, Garchomp, Starmie, a couple others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. All right, all right, all right. Fusion Strike. Fusion. Okay, so Fusion Strike is actually. I'm just gonna boom. Okay, Fusion Strike. You got a bunch of pink, purple Alt Arts. We got we got Gengar. We got Espeon. We got the Muse. Uh, and then we even got like Inteleon, and we, there's a lot of good alt arts and cheap alt arts, expensive alt arts, moderately priced alt arts. Yeah, but no trainer gallery for not having a trainer gallery. It's freaking amazing. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fusion Strike. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's go Scarlet and Violet base set. This crap is laggy. So I actually recorded this whole video before, and then I realized I left Fusion Strike and Brilliant Stars off the list, so I had to re-record this whole thing. It was smooth the first time. Now that I now that this is the real one, it's all slow and clunky. All right, Scarlet Violet base set. What did Opossum Bud say? He said, this is the best set since base set. 100% agree. I think the Ralts, the, the Kyrelia, uh, Illustration Rare into the Gardevoir, uh, SIR is a beautiful story. It's a beautiful thing. I think Miriam is, I, I absolutely love the Miriam SIR. Uh, yeah, oh, both Arvins, the Fular Arvin and the SIR Arvin. Oh man, it's so much better than people give it credit for, but yet it's definitively not amazing. I'm gonna put it in B for now. Yeah. All right, Sword and Shield Base. This is the Snorlax and Marnie show. Two good Snorlaxes, two good Marnies. That's literally it. Uh, I'll put it in C tier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do C tier. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do C tier. Something squeaking over there. All right. All right, Temporal Forces. So this... Okay, so Temporal Forces... All the ancient and future, all the SIRs look incredible. I mean, Morty's Conviction doesn't look that crazy, but it, you know, it's got Gengar on it. The Gengar, or the Ghastly Gah. IR is pretty cool. With all the Haunters. Haunter. Uh, and Gengars. Uh, the Pri Raging Bolt. Nobody likes Raging Bolt the Pokemon, but they should love uh, Raging Bolt the SIR, because, and its playability. Temporal Forces. Man, it's an A or B. I'm gonna put it in B. Put it in B. Yeah, with Scarlet and Violet base set. Plus, it's also a medium-sized set, just like Scarlet and Violet base set. So, But it has way more value, though. Huh. It has unusually high value and some playability for a medium-sized set. So, yeah. Um, I almost... Yeah, no, let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. Let's Let's leave it there. All right, so Champion's Path. Definitively one giant baby step ahead of Darkness Ablaze, but not much different. So uh, Charizard B, a secret rare. That silver and black card is a banger. The VMAX alt art is a banger. Nothing else in the set. There's a Gardevoir, a Gardevoir uh, secret rare, it's 10 bucks. Uh, yeah, Champion's Pass sucks. It absolutely sucks. It just doesn't quite suck as much as Darkness Ablaze. Yeah. Sadly. Alright, Chili Willy. Oh, the Blaze Akin is so freaking good. It's a top five alt art for me. Maybe even top three. Oh, the Moltres is cool. It reminds me of, like, a really rich person's credit card. Like, the black card. Like, just imagine the Moltres as a credit card. Uh... Chili, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, oh, oh god, I got, do I really have Paradox Rift and S tier over Chilling Rain? That feels weird. Oh, it feels weird putting Paradox Rift ahead of Chilling Rain. Oh, shit. You know what, I'm gonna move Paradox Rift down to A tier, I'm, oh, fuck, god damn it. Really? Yeah, because I can't put Paradox Rift over Chilling Rain. And I don't want to put Chilling Rain as S tier, even though it's close. Ah, oh, shit. This has been very even so far, except for S tier. Alright, Pokemon 150... I mean, Scarlet and Violet 151. This is for the basic chads, the newbies, the the the, 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 the Kanto lovers. Yeah, I do love the Zapdos. And I do like the Venusaur. And top to bottom, all the SIRs from... Giovanni's Charisma to his Charizard are all very strong. God, this freaking glitchy shit is driving me crazy! Alright, there. Or I'm gonna put it A tier. It's not S tier for me, but I know it is for a lot of you. Okay, this is my tier list. Again, linked in the description below. You play with this tier list all you want, and you put Scarlet and Violet up at S tier. I'm not doing it! Crown Zenith! 
Crown Zenith, though, it goes right up here, no question. I almost feel like taking time to, to, to validate Crown Zenith as S tier is disrespectful to Crown Zenith as an obvious S tier that it is. The only thing I will say that's not great about Crown Zenith is, say, the regular set Pokemon and artworks when you're ripping most of the packs and say you don't pull anything. It's very mid as far as the regular set goes um, in the regular, like commons and commons. But who cares, because nobody cares about that crap. Anyway, the Crown Zenith Galarian Gallery is one of the most OP things ever created by a human. So yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. And now the value's popping off too. Like, if you disagree with me, genuinely, I don't care. Crown Zenith is very much an S tier set. Get off my nuts. All right, Celebrations. So Celebrations has four or five cards worth over $10, and only one of them's. So let's see. Uh, so, I mean, it, Celebrations is the opposite of Crown Zenith, whereas all the commons, uncommons, all the artworks, top to bottom, everything about Celebrations is beautiful. You know, they're all reprints with a cool little stamp. Uh, I do love the Mew. The Charizard is worth, what, 80 or 90 bucks. The Umbreon's worth like 10 bucks. The Requazus maybe worth 6 or 7. Oh, the Blastoise Venusaur, 5. They're all reprints. Celebration's a C tier for me, but very, very much appreciate all the great reprints and artworks. And yeah, it's a good set. It's I, I don't have anything bad to say about Celebration's, even though I'm putting it at a C tier. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Silver Tempest. So we have a Rayquaza Trainer Gallery card that's worth like 50 bucks now. We have the Lugia Alt Art, which to be honest is a very iconic Lugia. Probably be. Lugia's got a lot of famous cards. This one will be one of Lugia's most famous forever. Probably top two or three most famous Lugia cards ever. But then it drops off a huge, huge cliff. Like big time. And I'm, I don't like Silver Tempest near as much as so many people do. Because, yeah, the Lugia Altar, the Rayquaza are about the only two cards I really care about. In the end. I mean, there's some good lower-end trainer gallery cards, for sure. But, yeah, I, I actually feel very good putting... I feel very good putting Silver Tempest at B tier with Battle Style, Scarlet Violet Base, and support... Yeah, 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 that feels, that feels accurate as fuck. All right, sorry, for me. All right, Pokemon Go, we got three good Mewtwo's. We got the Altar Mewtwo, we got the Secret Rare Mewtwo, we got the Gold Mewtwo, uh, and we got some good Dragonites, we got a good Dragonite full art. Uh, and the Commons and Uncommons opening the packs, it's all good, nice artworks, a lot of, obviously, Kanto. But overall, uh, it's a hated upon set, nobody likes it, it's absolute trash, yada 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 yada. But guess what, Pokemon Go is trash and crap and shitty as it is. It's way better than Darkness of Blaze Champions Path and Rebel Clash, I'm just being honest. And if it's right in line with Celebrations, if you look at the value, uh, the, you know, five or six good hits. Yeah, yeah. If you look at all these C tier, they all have a handful of decent cards and that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Literally. Yeah, whereas D is like Charizard or one thing or bust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so Brilliant Stars. Speaking of Charge, no, this is not Charizard or Bust. Brilliant Stars, we got Charizard V Altar, we got the Charizard uh, V Star Secret Rare, and then we have uh, an Arceus Altar, and then that's about it, other than, obviously, probably the best, the best trainer gallery. And this trainer gallery is headlined mainly by Mimikyu, Sylveon, and Umbreon both a V and V max of each so that's six total trainer galleries in those six trainer galleries alone plus your two Charizards make this a lot of people's favorite 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 sword and shield set not mine it's a tier it's a tier I do think the Charizard V star secret rare it's been sitting at 55 bucks for damn near a year now 60 bucks 65 bucks that that's gotta go up right there's an investor bro tip Charizard, V Star, Secret Rare, Brain of Stars, V Stars, Shining Fates. This set is so bad. It is so bad. It is so. Go look at a set list of Shining Fates, and you got your what? Eighty-five dollar beautiful V Max Charizard, Secret Rare, Shiny, blah blah. And then, dude, it falls off so hard. 
You got one ten dollar waifu in there, Skyla. Yeah. Uh, and then what was it? This the Suicun, not Suicun. I say Suicun and I get shitted on in the comments, but it's Suicun. And even that's only like a little ten dollar baby shiny. Uh, the assortment of Pokemon. The it's a Charizard or Bust show, just like Darkness Ablaze, just like Champions Path. Rebel Clash doesn't even have that. Just got boss's orders. Uh, yeah, Shiny Fates compared to Hidden Fates, Paldane Fates, whew, it is so not even close. It's a shitty set that was printed into the ground. Talk about, one, if you want to be a shitty set, just being a shitty set, but then also get printed in the ground, that makes you ultra shitty. D tier. Alright. Obsidian. 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 My mouse is a whole inch away from the thumbnail. What the? No, 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 no. All right, there we go. That looks better. All right, Obsidian Lames. I was the first person on the internet to say that. I know you got to be a genius to come up with that. Lames instead of flames. I'll, I'll take all credit. Uh, but Obsidian Lame Flames ugh, is actually not near as bad as a set. It's people like me or whoever, you know, might say. So Obsidian Flames, its ultimate issue is it's just too small, which makes everything go down. And since it's a Charizard set, people look for value. And there's not a lot of playability. And because it's small, there's not a lot of value. But get, throw in a bunch of, a, a lot more IRs, a few more SIRs, and definitely like two more uh, uh, Hyper Rares. And Obsidian Flames would be a, a, such a popular set if it just had a little more. So I'm going to put it at C tier. It is way, way, people compare it to Darkness of Blaze and Champion's Path and some of these other ones. Obsidian Flames is way, way better than those other two. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, those other two have more expensive Charizard. I think this Charizard is 55, 60 bucks. But this Charizard in a couple years will go up and it'll be like very similar to these very forgotten about Charizards from these uh, D tier sets from Sword and Shield. I promise you. Because we just got way too many Charizards. Alright, just way too many. Way too many. Lost Origin. Okay, so the Tina Aerodactyl show. Giratina. Aerodactyl. Cool. Okay, Trainer Gallery. The Lost Origin Trainer Gallery is really good. And you have two very strong alt arts. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. A tier. A tier. A tier. Okay, Evolving Skies. Just Evolving Skies, S tier. Alright. I <laughs> will just save a little time with that one. We'll just save a little time. I love... Dragonite V and Umbreon V. Those are my two favorite alt arts from Evolving Skies. Oh, and I think Umbreon V Max, very freaking overrated card artwork price. Absolutely. Seriously. Like the Sylveon, I mean, this, the Espeon from, from Fusion Strike. The Leafeon. I think there's so many cards I think look better than Moonbreon. All right, Paldean Fates. I love Paldean Fates. This is the funnest set I've ever master set in my life. The memories that were forged on my two-month grind completing this baby shiny and master set. Card shows, card shops. Oh god, and it's it just was so rewarding finishing this set. The baby shinies look so much better than the shining fates. I I think. These baby shinies with the silver borders, a little extra texture. The cards feel better. The little baby bastard Pikachu. Oh, man. I might move Chilling Rain up to S tier. I keep thinking about Chilling Rain or Paradox Rip. Oh, man. Am I down to just Paldea Evolved? Oh, gosh. Really? All right, so Paldea Evolved. Iono, Magikarp, Titar, Raichu, Tinkaton, Excalibur. It's great. It's such a big, beautiful set. It's so nice, Paldea. Oh, man. All right, check this out. Okay, so Paldea, and then I'm going to choose one from A tier, and I'm going to move it up to S tier. I just feel like there's something in A tier that's got to go up. All right, what should it be, guys? Oh, Chilling Rain. Okay, look, it's between Chilling Rain, Paradox Rift. 
Okay, hold on a sec. Gardevoir SIR. Mew SIR. That Charizard SIR. That freaking Charizard, that freaking Mew, that freaking Gardevoir are so good! And God, you know what? The memories. Pele and Fates, I owe a lot. I'm gonna remember Pele and Fates for the rest of my life. S tier. Get off my nuts. I don't care. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you bastards on the next one. Deuces!